Hi, Soul Family. This is Latani with Saggy Soul. Thank you for tuning in for your bi-weekly reading. This will be from January the 20th through February the 2nd. Um, I've already completed Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and um, Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now I'm on to the best, right? Save the best for last. I didn't forget you, my Earth Signs. I just completed Virgo and Capricorn. Now I'm moving on to Taurus. Um, and before I get started, let me just say I could possibly cough throughout the video. <laughs> I'm a little under the weather. Um, um, thank, oh, thank you to all my old subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the emails, the comments, the uh, likes and dislikes. Um, all the energy. I really appreciate it. Um, we are having a new moon coming up this Friday, Friday, January the 24th. So you want to make sure that you start manifesting new things, new careers, new love, new money, new business opportunities, new, 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 right? Um, this will not resonate with everyone, right? So maybe 5%, maybe 1%, maybe one or two people, um, really whoever needs to hear it the most. And before I get started in the pre-shuffle, Taurus, I would like to read your monthly horoscope for um, January. So it says, you haven't been still for a long time. You've gotten used to keeping um, a faster pace and have been given the opportunity to gain a lot of ground. Have you seen it as an opportunity, opportunity or an annoyance? Shifting your perspective to make all the difference. Hmm. Your challenging days was the 18th and the 19th, and your rewarding days have already passed, <laughs> which was supposed to be the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th. Okay. So this just states that I guess you're just moving, 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 going, going, going. So we want to make sure that we keep ourselves grounded, which you are earth sign, right? But keeping our thoughts grounded, um, manif you know, manifesting things that are for our life path, things that are um, pretty much for within our heart's desire, right? Okay, so let's see. I have already set my intentions, Taurus, and I have already done my prayer off camera. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. So I hope you guys are having a great week, great weekend, getting much needed rest, not running too many errands. <laughs> Taurus. January the 20th through February the 2nd. Taurus. Taurus. Hmm. One more. Taurus. Let's cut the deck. Taurus, your focus. The Nine of Wands in the reverse. You also have the Magician, Major Arcana. You also have the King of Swords. You also have the Lovers, Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Sun, Major Arcana in the reverse. You also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. And you also have the Prince of Swords, which is just like the Page of Swords. All right, Taurus, come on down. Let's see what's going on here. Taurus, your focus, the nine of wands in the reverse. Hmm. Now on the upright, the nine of wands is usually standing your ground and after much battles and obstacles and adversity, just 
leaning on that one wand and feeling empowered and enlightened. But for me in this deck, this is also a soulmate twin flame card, right? Hmm. So in the reverse, this is some type of discord, some type of disharmony in a connection or a relationship. This is also some type of separation, right? You also have the magician, Major Arcana. So this is having all the tools and all the skills needed to manifest our heart's desire, right? Having the ability to hmm, go within and take appropriate action on whatever situations or obstacles come our way, right? Dealing with things head on and having the self-confidence. Let's keep going. You also have the King of Swords. Hmm. Now we know that the King of Swords is a no-nonsense kind of king and leads through wisdom and integrity. It has very harsh but sound advice and a person who is very uh, analytical and very logical, right? You also have the lovers, Major Arcana, in the reverse. Now, on the upright, this is a choice between two or more. This is some type of harmonious type of love affair and contentment and enjoyment and passionate beginnings and passionate situations. But in the reverse, hmm, this is, again, some type of separation between lovers. This is some type of disharmony between lovers. This is some type of discontent and hmm, displeasure experienced, right? You also have the sun, major arcana, in the reverse. Now in the upright, we know that the sun is happiness and contentment and abundance and joy and overflowing and just the overall excitement of things to come and things that we have already experienced but in the reverse this is disconnection this is loneliness this is hmm. sometimes even a limit limited success in a situation or relationship Let's keep going. You also have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Now the upright, we know the Ten of Pentacles is overflowing foundations and happiness and love and family and wealth and good health and just the overflowing of abundance. But in the reverse, this is a loss of finances. This is a situation concerning health. This is a separation or even a legal divorce and within a relationship. Let's keep going. You also have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Now we know with pages they bring news and invitations and invites and opportunities. Now particularly with this page we know that this is someone who is spying on us and <laughs> looking at our Facebook and looking at our Instagram accounts and driving past our workplaces and driving past our homes and just the overall spying, nosy type of person, right? So Taurus, on the board, we have swords, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We also have pentacles, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We also have wands, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have the sun, Leo, the lovers, Gemini, and the magician, Gemini. Hmm. But this could be in their sun, their rising, their Venus, their south node, their north node, right? Hmm. 
for us. <coughs> Excuse me. I do believe this is you. Hmm. And I do believe you had a twin flame type of connection that uh, didn't turn out so well. <laughs> Matter of fact, Taurus, you manifested this connection, right? You called this person into your life. But as they say, we always have to be careful what we manifest because sometimes if things are not right, if people are not right, if situations are right, not right, we have to cut that, we have to cut them out. We have to allow them to go their own separate ways, right? And maybe we had a great time in this rendezvous. Maybe this is with a Gemini or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But um, for whatever reason, there was passion. But there's no love. There's not one cup on this board. Which, in turn, is a level of discontentment, right? Unbalance. There's not an equal give and take, right? Because being a king or a queen, Taurus, maybe you were the only one putting time, energy, and money into this connection. Right? And for 2020, you're no longer going to accept that. But this person, they're spying. <laughs> they're spying on you, Taurus. Trying to figure out what you're up to. Trying to perhaps look on your Instagram, Facebook accounts, Snapchat whatever social media accounts to see if you moved on. Right? And for some of you, this uh, soulmate connection could have possibly even been a long-term relationship or marriage, right? Because with the Ten of Pentacles, that's family, that's foundation, that's building legacies, but in the reverse, that's separation, that's even... Divorce, right? Which would explain why the sun is upside down. There's no happiness. There's no balance. There's no longer foundation. Because something didn't work out. And hmm, maybe the love just fizzled away. Or maybe, Taurus, you had a choice. Maybe you had a soulmate and another lover. Hmm. Could that be why the relationship came to an end? Interesting. Interesting. Maybe even, Taurus, you want this soulmate back. Maybe you put this lever on pause and you're trying to focus on building your foundation back. And that's maybe for a small percentage of you, right? Especially if there's love there and things didn't end on such bad terms. Maybe there's an opportunity to bring this back into balance, right? Hmm. So this is going to be very specific to Tauruses out there who perhaps had a soulmate connection and maybe even had an extra lover on the side and <laughs> things didn't work out with the lover and 
we kind of lost our foundation and lost our happiness, right? We were maybe wanting our cake and eat it too, as they say. So, Taurus, maybe this person will forgive you and maybe the roles can be reversed, right? So this could be Taurus or the cross watcher. Maybe Taurus, somebody put you in a third party situation and you thought this was your, your soulmate, the person that you would spend the rest of your life with. So we have to see if we can forgive. And maybe even get some counseling if the relationship is worth saving, right? But if they're still hanging on to that other lover or karmic, and we're a king or a queen, we're not going to allow people to treat us that kind of way. All right? 2020 is here. This is not your year. This is your decade. Your decade of self-love, self-confidence, respect, standing in your true power, knowing who you are. I have the attitude of gratitude for the many social groups in my life, including family, friends, and co-workers. Exactly. You're a king or a queen, and you're abundant. You're connected, right? You build things from the ground up. You have many people who support you and love you. I have the attitude of gratitude for the simple things in life that bring me peace and balance. Exactly. So figuring out if you're going to allow things to die and let them go so that you can bring back your peace of mind and your happiness again. Because Taurus, that's what it's all about. It's about your happiness. It's about what makes you content in life. It's about who makes you content in life. It's about being around people who are on your level, equal give and take, right? Reciprocity, love, respect, kindness, right? Appreciation. I have the attitude of gratitude for the simple things in life that bring me peace and balance. So Taurus, this is your reading from January the 20th through February the 2nd. Please like, subscribe, share, and of course, comment. All my personal information is in the box below for personal readings. Thank you for tuning in to Saggy Soul, and from one soul to another soul. I love you, soul family. Have a great week.